I am someone who loves Destiny 2, especially what it's become today. It's changed so much over the years, and uh, if you're like me, you find yourself sometimes preaching the gospel of Destiny 2 to your friends, and um, some of them, you know, they don't receive it well. <laughs> In all seriousness, uh, I, I have uh, tried to walk through Destiny 2 with some of my friends. Some of my friends, they used to play it, but they don't anymore. And some of them, they, they, they come and go as expansions launch and fall off. And I just decided to finally ask some of my friends why they don't play Destiny. So today, we're starting with my friend Armless Bandit, longtime friend of mine, and uh, it's basically going to be a podcast-style type of uh, conversation, and I hope you enjoy it. Also, if you like this type of content, if you could just hit the like button, I would love that. Thank you. <laughs> Alright, cool, cool, cool. So, like, I remember um, Destiny, uh, we pl us playing Destiny 2 together before... I think it's before... It was like right after it came out. Yeah, yeah, basically like it came out, and um, it was before Forsaken ever even came out. And I remember, uh, it might have been like the, the Warmind expansion, and I remember there was like some type of, I don't know if it was Moments of Triumph or something, but there was like some type of thing in game that was like, play the raids or something. And I remember just going through and... I, th I remember playing a, a raid with you, like, and like, uh, I think Andrew was even yeah. in it too. You, Andrew, pretty sure Laser was in it. I, Big Meme Dream might have even been a part of the team. Right. And, and just like, yeah, it's just playing a raid and it like taking for like taking forever, taking a couple hours, and that's like all I can remember. Yeah. So I've played three raids in Destiny too. Okay. Um, like not three, like separate, like you know, raids, but like I've raided three times. Like, three times. Okay. Um, yeah, and yeah, like the first couple times, it was like whatever, like it was fun, and then I think it was just like the third time, like it just like wasn't fun the third time, and it took like a lot of time. Mm. Um, like I feel like we like either like weren't performing well, or maybe like just me specifically, or whatever. Mm -hmm. Um. Do you know if you were doing it with all friends or if there was like I some think it was strangers? All friends. Okay. Yeah. On all three um, of them. Okay. I think cool. it was like, yeah, I think it was like, Zared was a part of it. You, Darcier, Andrew, myself. Awesome. And, um, maybe. Possibly another friend. <laughs> yeah, maybe McMean Dream. I don't know. Yeah. Um, but whatever. Or maybe Zorbs. I don't know. The Zorb, the Zorbs plays Destiny, right? Yeah, I don't think I don't know yeah. if I don't know if he played that much back then, but who knows? Yeah, but, but like whatever, right? Yeah. Um. Yeah, and then it just like wasn't fun the third time, and then that's kind of like when I fell off. Okay. Um. I think, though, the answer to the question of like why I don't play Destiny two. Mm -hmm. Um. I haven't really I, asked you much to play Destiny either. I like. Right. I yeah. think I jokingly once in a great while say something about it. But yes. um, for the most part, like, I know that you've got, you, like, you've, I mean, you're an adult and you've got other things and other games that you also like to play, but I'll let you, I'll just let you answer your, the question. <laughs> right, yeah. I mean, so probably, like, the biggest thing is, like, I'm obviously already super into Dota and, like, if I'm going to be home, like, I work 40 hours a week, right? Mm. If I'm going to, and let's say, like, on average, I get to play, like, two hours on a weekday, like, maximum. And, like, on a weekend, I play, like, maybe an average of, like, five or six hours, right? Mm -hmm. And so, like, in total, like, if I'm going to be playing, like, 17 hours of a game, I bet, like, probably close to, like, 13 of those hours are going to be in Dota. So what right? was the number again if you play, if you're playing 17? If I'm playing, like, 17 hours a week. Mm -hmm. I bet like 13 of those are Dota. Okay. So, so that leaves me like four hours to then split among like the other games I like to play, like primarily Hunt mm -hmm. um, and now like Halo, eventually when I feel like Battlefield is like good again, you know, like whatever. <laughs> yeah. Um, Very, there's all sorts of really great games out there competing for exactly. our attention. Exactly. And like if I compare like Dota is like probably my favorite video game of all time, right? Mm -hmm. And so like it it like Dota is my destiny for you, right? Yeah. Like, 
nobody's really ever going to convince me that Dota's not a great game and that, like, it doesn't, like, it's not deserving of my attention. Mm -hmm. um, and then, you know, like, Hunt, like we've talked about, like, is probably one of the greatest video oh, games of our generation. Yeah, just so um, innovative. Feels great. It also isn't trying to beg you to play it either, which is one of my favorite yeah. things about it. Exactly. And so, like, if I compare it to, like, other games that, like, I split my time between, like... All the games I feel like I play are like tier S, right? Maybe mm -hmm. tier A. And then I feel like Destiny 2 is like maybe a tier B game. Yeah. So it's just uh it's just not uh competing well enough. But do you, but do you know why it it's not? Do you like what like if is are there things that you could pick out maybe about the game or maybe the gameplay experience that maybe leads you to feel that I way? So, like, if I think about it, right, and, like, I enjoy watching Destiny. Like, if I'm going to, like, watch you play a game, like, oh, yeah, I'll watch you play Destiny all day. Like, it's fun to watch for sure. Mm -hmm. But it's fun for me to watch because you've put in the hours that have, like, the optimal equipment, right? Mm -hmm. Or, like, okay. you've put in the time, you've put in the research, whatever it may be, right? You have the understanding of the game to play optimally. And that's, like, that's what makes it fun to watch. Okay. Um. So, yeah, and it's like, I don't want to put in the time and, you know, and time and research or grinding. I know, you, I know you particularly don't feel like it's a very grindy game, but I do. Yeah. Um, and so, yeah, like, I don't feel like putting in that, like, those resources. Yeah. And, like, f for example, it's not real. Like, I, I, I uh, have There's, like, way grindier games for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And I've mentioned before that, like... It's changed. It's changed a, a large amount since you've played it, and and you're also not necessarily. I, I'm also not streaming every second that I play of the that game, and and yeah. you're not watching every second that I do stream. But like, um, they've. I mean, the 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 grind is is uh, at a point where it can be what you want it to be. Um, I feel like in Destiny where, um. If you if you want to grind out the like a super specific five out of five roll of a weapon or like specific stat rolls on specific exotic armor pieces, you can do that. You can go for that. Or if you only want to do it enough to like you're like, oh, this is a this is good enough for me. Maybe it's a three out of five or a four out of five or maybe like the stat splits on a exotic are good enough. Then like you can stop there, and for the most part, your your overall gameplay experience isn't gonna actually be that significantly different of somebody else. I think that the more extreme grinds are are really just for people who this might be the only game they play, right, and they the really want to see what the end of the end game looks like type of stuff. And so it doesn't have to be that extreme, but I know that probably like what you experience too when you're like maybe watching me play is you're like at this point obviously uh i have like thousands of hours in the game and it could feel like especially from the outside that like oh to have exactly what i like you, it makes you want exactly what i have but right. you don't want to play as long as i've played to get what i have and yeah, so I can exactly. understand that for sure. And I and I and I am curious to when I ask Andrew uh, what his reasoning be. It might be a sim. I it honestly might be a similar reason it's for him a too. Probably similar response. Yeah. But like, um, what's interesting is is like I've all I've wanted to. I wish I had like unlimited time so I could make every video that I ever have thought of making about this game, and that they would be things that people would actually be interested in in watching. But, like, I've thought about it before of, like, trying to just doing some of, like, the hardest activities in the game, but just using weapons that literally nobody even considers, using perks that are con con completely, like, F-tier perks on these weapons, too, and just, like, see what my experience is like and, like, how, how different it is than the complete opposite of super optimized build stats are exactly where i want them like perks are exactly what i want the weapons are the highest dps weapons versus just like using a whatever of whatever that's whatever and and seeing what the the experience would be because i wonder if there's like people who feel like they can't use what they want to use or they feel like 
there's only these certain things that they have to do in order to have a good time. And I, I, I don't feel like it is that way. I, I feel like Destiny creates a lot of illusions of, yeah. of intense RPG building things because, and it kind of has to be that way because it's a game that has guns in it. And guns are, guns kill things fast. It's not, yeah. it's not like a, a, fa a complete fantasy MMO where you have like abilities that just, they do a little bit of damage and you have to do these different combos for like bigger damage to happen. It's like you have a gun that shoots bullets and what is the, what is the RPG building of this gun? Well, it can only be so much. It's like, here's a little bit of some stats in, in this area. Uh, okay. You're sacrificing some of these other stats. And it's and it's it's just a little bit, but like in some ways, you can feel some of those differences. Like if like and people have noticed that a lot with like the handling of weapons. If like a weapon has really high handling, it feels really good. You swap it really quick. You can aim down the sights really quick, and that's like one way where you can kind of feel things. But it's just like it's it's mostly an illusion. It doesn't matter if I if my if the fate bringer hand cannon I got has max handling or if it has just like some handling it's like gonna still be a fate bringer and it's still gonna do really good and the difference isn't like gonna be that wide whereas like in like uh I don't know like runescape or world of warcraft or some other game right. like yeah it's definitely you're like, like that. I want this staff that does this thing and if it doesn't have this thing then I, I know and it and it sucks and it's it's a bad it's a bad item it's or a whatever bad weapon, yeah. yeah or like I need my robes or whatever to have this specific trait and if it doesn't drop with this trait then it's trash but like in destiny like some of that is like even with the stats on armor like recovery everybody wants recovery on their stuff and if your armor doesn't have that high of recovery if as long as it has some recovery you can put on recovery mods on all your armor so you can still like almost no matter what you can have a hundred recovery no matter what like no matter what armor drops because you can do these other types of build crafting i guess but the build crafting is is kind of like build crafting light it's like the free app version <laughs> of mmo build crafting and so i don't know that's a little bit of a rant. I, just, I guess I just yeah. decided to go on. <laughs> okay. So my question would be, my, my follow-up to basically that whole thing mm -hmm. is, so I've got 17 hours, 14 or 13 of those are Dota. I'm at least playing two hours of Hunt every week because obviously. So good, yeah. Um, so so if, if I asked you, can I play Destiny for two hours a week? and be able to play in the same matches as you and not just get dumped on. Mm, oh, especially like it. Cause like you're, you're also saying that you are a player that cares about the crucible too. Yeah, exactly. Uh, okay. Okay. Yeah. So two hours a week. So, um, Oh boy. That's a, I mean, it would, uh, no matter what it would be gradual because obviously it's been a while since you've played, um, in 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 destiny so especially on the pvp aspect there would be certain things that you would just have to learn over time and obviously if you're only playing two hours a week that would take some time for you to not get completely dumped on especially if you're playing in lobbies with like me and zorbs um it'll probably match you with some moderately uh, difficult enemies <laughs> but um right uh let me think i like i think that you could i think it is possible um, and fortunately the, the plus side to that is that, um, uh, a lot of destiny, uh, is available for free too. So like, obviously yeah. the crucible is free and you can play the crucible for free. Right. It's the, like one of the most free games of all time. Yeah. The downside is like, there are some like exotics. So like, if you're like, I want it, I want this exotic or that exotic. There are some exotics that are only exist because you have paid for the $10 An DLC expansion. or whatever yeah. it is, yeah. And so, um, in that area, it might be hard 
or sad, but there there are like for the most part there are legendary counterparts to a lot of exotic weapons in the game. And so you could um have some success and th this is the this is what I would say though. Could you play 2 hours of Destiny a week and also be able to uh very shortly have a good time in the crucible and do that without looking up any videos or having a friend guide you i would say no yeah i would say absolutely that would not be possible um it mm -hmm. would be very very hard um and ah, man it's just sad because like a lot of destiny is so so awesome but like a lot of it is, uh, like, I, I've been thinking about it recently. There's so many things that I'm just like, how would a new player that started today that doesn't have friends in here figure out about this character or this thing? And, right. And, uh, and or like, doing this certain thing. And I don't, well, most of the time my answer is, like, I, I have no idea how they would figure that out. Yeah. Um, and... And I'm, I mean, I've played games like that before, right? Like, yeah. Dark Souls is super heavy into that. Like, the game does not guide you into finding anybody. Like, you could go the whole game without meeting, like, at least half of the NPCs in Dark yeah, Souls. Yeah, that's crazy. Um, and, but, like, the, then, like I said, it goes back to me comparing, like, what I, like, the amount of fun versus, like, the, um, like, the ingenuity of like destiny versus like something like dark souls like dark souls once again is like an s tier game to me right yeah, so i'm gonna sure. choose to play that even though like even though i may have to put in more time like i feel like it's worth it yeah but i mean as far as like judging a game from like being like a an s tier or an f tier or whatever um that's all completely subjective like, yeah for sure like i mean like i know andrew like hates or not hates, but, like, doesn't have any fun when playing Hunt. But then, like, you and I are like, oh, my gosh, it's, like, one of the best games. <laughs> yeah, for sure, for sure. You know what I mean? So it's, like, that's, like, while that's not necessarily, like, the most objective, like, answer, like, factual, mm -hmm. like, we're all human beings, right? We're all going to have, like, opinions, too. And sometimes, like, that's honestly just, like, what it comes down to. Yeah. True. But, um, um, no, you. Is that is that good enough? I've got a friend that wants to play Hunt. <laughs> <laughs> Speaking of hunt, so. you know what? I I think that uh, let me let me just think for uh, one more second to make sure that there's nothing else. So yeah, sure. so the main thing for you was that like it feels like it would take more time than two hours a week for you to be able to enjoy playing this, and you just have um, a different gaming priority. Uh, and but you and still even just like taste, right? Yeah, and taste, yeah. And you you still uh, think, and you uh, as you observe it, it still looks like a good game. Oh and, yeah, like and... I love watching Destiny. Like Destiny is super mm -hmm. fun to watch. It's probably like one of my most favorite games. To, like watch you play. It's just not. Uh, it's just not reaching exactly. Um, exactly what you're. Like it's not it's not uh, beating what you're already playing basically. Like you you have exactly. other things that you're you're already wanting to play, and um, it's in direct competition with that, and so you're not able you're, to spend time doing it for the most part. And 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 that also like is comboing with that the feeling that it would take more than just a couple hours. And you might only have a couple hours to play it a week. Right. Okay. All right. Yep. There you go. Nailed and it. yeah, my goal is not to convince you at all uh, oh, of figuring it out. Uh, just to, um, I just, I just think that uh, it, it's un for me, and I know that uh, uh, Darcy feels this way too. That like, Destiny to us is just like one of our favorite games ever. Uh, for her, it's her favorite game ever, uh, for sure. Yeah. And. It just like to us, especially like this past year, they've done a really, really insane job of making um, making the story, uh, especially like the seasonal story, um, really good. And 
it uh, occasionally just makes me sad that like there's so many of my friends that will never experience how especially how great because destiny's just gotten better and better over time and and i just wanted to see where they're at and where they got to their conclusions because i know that like gamer gamers across the world i'm sure they gave up on destiny 2 in year one because it was really like when i think back to destiny 2 in year one it was honestly like really not a great game at all like there were so many very important aspects of it that were missing that um were not fun to play in the long run and uh i i'm sure that there are tons of people that played it back then and were like they played through it and they're like well this was okay and but like not great and and that and then they were done and it doesn't matter how much new marketing they see for the game whatever they saw before is what destiny is today and so right. and so they're just yeah. they, they don't it, it doesn't matter how sweet whatever trailers are they don't know how the game has evolved over time and so they just and they have their predetermined things that they've already experienced like from four from years ago or whatever yeah and and, and I mean, I did have a lot of fun like when Destiny came out, but I also was not married and also did not have a job and mm -hmm. could play it, you know, like 10 hours a week or whatever. Exactly. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. So and like I you mean, said like nothing, nothing will ever like honestly, like one of the most fun, like when I think of Destiny, some of the most fun like experiences I had was like becoming the lightning guy and like pretending to be the emperor from star wars and being like i am the senate uh, yeah for sure and then also like the other arc uh like super where you like have like the lightning rod thing and you like are a jedi you can like run around and sword people or whatever yeah for sure like those like i mean that's freaking sick i mean who's not gonna enjoy that right yeah so, for sure yeah. yep and yeah it's yeah i completely agree um and, and I remember you saying earlier at the beginning of this question, too, that um, after, like, you, you raided a few times, and then and then the game was eventually, like, boring. Like, you, you're you just like, well, yeah, I'm just, it's not that, like, whatever we're doing now, like, whatever left there is to do, it's it's not not that fun. And so, yeah, and, and you moved on at that point, too. Yeah. So, and... That's that's how it goes sometimes. Not every game is meant to be the only game people play, and not every game is actually even meant to be that. Like like, not every but not every game can keep everyone's attention forever. Forever. Yeah. Uh -huh. Anyways, you have Anyways. A, you have a hunt match to get to. Yeah, um, I'm actually in the hunt match right now. Oh heck yeah! <laughs> <laughs> but we died. Oh, is it just you and your friend? Yeah. And then you, so, so mean, you don't like, have a third? Yeah, I mean, if you potentially wanted to join, you could absolutely <laughs> join. Okay. Yeah, I'll actually come over. I'll hop over there. 